Well, we ended the weekend with some pleasant weather, had a little cool start to the day. News 10 photojournalist Megan Schrader shot this in Rosedale today. There you can see some picture perfect weather. You can see the green grass, flowers, clear skies. You can also notice a light breeze going through the plants and some of the flowers, and there's even a dandelion right over there. We're going to continue to see this type of forecast through the rest of the week. It's going to be fairly dry and getting a lot warmer for the most part. As you take a look here at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker, there's not really a whole lot of activity going on. We got a little bit of rain, it looks like, happening here in the northeast part of the viewing area, but it looks like it's going to be pushing through Indianapolis. But like I said, it's going to be staying fairly warm. Looking at our temperatures, we're going to be staying in the upper 50s and lower 60s. 59 in Terre Haute, 60 in Sullivan, 59 in Linton, 59 in Brazil, and 59 in Rockville. And as we take a look over the next 12 hours, we're going to be getting down into the lower 50s by the time of 6 o'clock. It's going to be getting down to 52. As you can see, our average low is 55. So it's going to be a little colder than what we would like it to be right now. But over the next week, we're going to see temperatures starting to rise over the next few days. On Monday, 82, 85 on Tuesday, and 86 on Wednesday. So it's definitely going to be fairly warm for the most part for the first part of the week. And then by the time we get to Thursday, we're going to have a little bit of a cold front coming in. We'll be in a high of 75 and then 77 on Friday. And taking a look at the dew point tracker, you can see on Monday and Tuesday, it's staying fairly comfortable. By the time we get to Wednesday, it's going to start to feel a little muggy out, and that's just because we're having our dew point reach into the lower part of the 60s. And then with that cold front coming in on Thursday and Friday, we're going to be getting back into comfortable conditions. Taking a look at our future cast, you can see not much activity going on. It's staying fairly sunny. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, though, you will see a little bit of cloud. So when you get up for work and for school, we'll have a little bit of cloud coverage coming in. But then as we get into Monday evening, we'll have a few scattered clouds coming in and out. But it's going to be staying fairly dry for the most part. So if you have any outdoor activities, you definitely want to do it this time this week because I'm not looking at any rain in the forecast for this week. For tonight, we'll have an overnight low of 52, mostly clear and not as cool, light wind. Tomorrow we will have a high of 82, so mostly sunny and a lot warmer. And then tomorrow night we'll have an overnight low of 55, mostly clear and cool conditions again. Take a look at our seven day forecast here. We're going to be reaching into the mid 80s by the time on Tuesday and Wednesday. And like I said, sunny skies all throughout the week. I'm not seeing any rain for this forecast. And then we're going to be getting into the mid 50s. Uh, mid 70s, excuse me, by the time we hit Thursday and Friday. And then we're looking at a pretty good forecast as we get into Memorial Day weekend.